So Tyrese went to child support court because he's been having a back and forth with his, you know, ex-wife, Samantha. Well, you know how it is in child support court, boy, well, Tyrese made a classic mistake in child support court and he got hit over the head big time. Let's go ahead and review it. Tender petitioner's exhibit 57, Mr. Gibson's 2018 tax return. Okay, Fifty-seven. If I recall your testimony correctly, Mr. Gibson, mm -hmm. you said 2018 you were financially in quote shambles. Is that correct? Yeah. So in 2018, when you were financially in shambles. Do you know how much you made that year? I don't. Well, according to your tax return, you made $2.221 million. It's page 32. Do you want to check me on that? I'm sir, I'm asking you because I don't do the CFO thing. Here's a question to you, smart No. Person. Hey, that's enough. You I go All right. Before I can get to let that go. That's what Tyrese messed up at. Tyrese, you know, took a jab at the lawyer. Now, black men, let me tell you something. It don't matter how much money you make in America, you are still a particular word to these people. You know a word I'm talking about. I don't have to say it, right? He has a, you know, judge up there, and you know persuasion of the judge. I mean, we just nine some out of ten. You already know where I'm going at with that. They already have a, a big bug in their behind as successful black men. So when you walk into these courtrooms, you need to have a certain courtroom etiquette, brothers. Okay. Even if you're getting upset by the situation, it's a certain way to respond to things, right? He asks to say, you know how much money you made? No, nah, I don't really remember, you know, that. He tells you, you say, okay, you know, well, just it's a yes or no questions you could ask, you know, but you start saying smart guy and all of that. Let's finish this. Sit down. We're taking a break. Lawyers back now. Okay. If you do it again, I'm going to hold you in contempt. You don't ask me questions. That's not how this works. All right. So Tyrese pissed off the judge. And what ended up happening to Tyrese because he pissed off that judge. He has to pay $10,000 a month in child support, $120,000 a year. He has to pay in child support. Some people don't make that at all in America. And he has to pay $120,000 a year, $10,000 a month in child support. He can't claim that on his taxes whatsoever. Um, she don't have to claim it as income at all. It's all tax free money. And Tyrese pushed, push that button with that situation by pissing off the judge and making him walk off because I already know how, how them folks think you already know how I get down. You're like, Oh, okay. He, he being one of them uppity uh, ones. Okay. He think cause he got money. He, he I'm gonna show him. I'm gonna show him. You already know how they think. Cause I do. And that's why they hit Tyrese with 10,000. Now he may would have not even got Tyrese like that. But since Tyrese pissed him off, that's what ended up happening. So brothers, if you go into family law court, if you do, don't follow Tyrese's example. This is what you don't do when you go to court. Preferably, preferably, you know, now Tyrese did have, you know, this child in a marriage, but that marriage didn't last too long. So I will say, fellas, if you decide to get married, make sure you know who you get married to. Now, some people talk about the prenup thing. I want to make sure I let you know about that. Prenuptial agreements has no bearing on child support. It's only at the, you know, the end of the marriage between you and the woman in which I'll break up. So she could, so you could have a, this, you know, uh, prenuptial agreement that could make you come out like a rose, but she gonna still get you on the child support. You understand what I'm saying? So a lot of you brothers are talking about traveling and all that, having families. If you decide to have families or whatever, just to be honest with you, if you just really want to have a big family, you don't want to deal with a system like this. It's better to do it outside the United States of America and not here because America, the family law courts is built to, um, sway for women period. Even if sometimes women not even asking for certain things, some women don't even want child support. If they go for certain help, they're going to tell them, well, we got to file a child support case on him. And that's not all the time they, they doing that. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying. 
So yeah, I mean, this system won't men caught up on child support. And it's the thing. You don't have the money. Something happened to you or whatever. You can get jailed behind child support. You like, and put in there with criminals. You're not even a common criminal like that, but you'll get put in County with, with the criminals are at. Well, people out there that, that murdering people, violating people, robbing, doing all kinds of things. They put you right in there behind some child support. So, cause I hear a lot of you guys, like I said, talking about traveling and all that. And that's great, but don't just make it travel the trick. I say travel to settle down. That's what I say. Travel, meet, find you somebody, meet you a wife, settle down out there, have your kids out there. You know what I'm saying? Instead of bringing them here because, uh, <laughs> in this system, like they said, they said many times, I want to leave this with you guys. America corrupts. Always remember that. So you can never bring your woman from overseas here because America will corrupt her. You, she can visit, but take her back. Don't ever, And then you live over there with her because this is what happens in America. When you marry, like I said, I understand by the child support system. I've dealt with it. And I'm on the tail end of it. I'm on the very, very tail end of it. Actually, I should be wrapping up here shortly, but I'm on the tail end of it. You know what I'm saying? And I'm happy about that. I'm happy. Of course, being a father, you never stop being a father. You always want to be providing something for your, your, even your grown children. Cause they got to go to college, you know, or even they go into a trade school. You still have to provide for your child. It's not like it, it, it's over with. Cause then folks say you ain't got to pay no more, but yeah, you don't go do this in court. You don't do this. Matter of fact, you even have to go before a judge. You could actually could sit down with, with the woman and, and work out a deal, right? And say, look, I'm going to do this and that and the third. Now I will say you can get more out of a man if you don't put him on child support than putting him on child support. But you know, some of these women, these guys are marrying, they see them like a lick anyway. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying that's why it's better sometimes to get a girl that you knew from back in the day that knew you before that. Because when you get these little women, yet yeah, they lead a lot of these guys be getting these Instagram females and all of that mess they be getting. This is what you know they get into. But I don't know. Y'all let me know what y'all think about Tyrese. But yeah, Tyrese, he messed up, and that's why he's paying ten thousand a month. 